Kirsten Cinema has a Democrat challenger for her seat in Arizona. If you don't know who this woman is, I highly recommend looking her up in her controversies. But essentially, she got elected on being extremely liberal and then fought for none of the policies she said she would. She also didn't return to her state for any town halls because her approval rating is basically non-existent. She claimed she didn't have time, but she did have time to fly to Switzerland to do a high five with Joe Manchin for a photo op recently. She has one of the most conservative voting records for a Democrat in Congress. And again, remember, she ran on being extremely liberal. And then after seeing Democrats gain seats in the Senate, well, she's not going to be so important as a deciding vote anymore. She decided to go independent to, you know, get some more attention. Now, the man running against her is behind me, and you can look up about him, and maybe one day I'll do a bigger, deeper dive into his policies. But honestly, the difference between him and cinema is night and day, and just by having a D next to his name and proving that he votes like a Democrat is supposed to, I fully expect him to end up winning this seat. But he did have a message at one point to Marjorie Taylor Greene after January 6th. I was trying to figure out what type of pen to stab your friends with if they overran us on the floor of the House of Representatives while trying to conduct a democratic transition of power. So please shut your seditious QAnon loving mouth when it comes to who loves America. And that is a quote. That is a quote from this man. He, uh, he, he wasn't very happy with her, uh, her attitude to say the least. Uh, I do expect him to do very well in this election when it happens.